Hello folks, today I want to talk to you about how to embed a video onto a uh, website page. And I've got a WordPress site. This would work with the Dreamweaver built site as well. But this is how to embed a video and make it autoplay. So that's just the long and short of it. I'm going to get right to it. We usually go to share. Here I've got a video about making great looking videos. An introduction, Tony Lee Glenn. And then we're going to hit embed. And then we're going to pick a size. Now for my WordPress size, a site the way I've got it, usually 600 pixels wide works. This 450 that puts in here, <clears throat> I usually go ahead and change that later. You can't go in there and change the 450 or it changes your aspect here automatically. At least I think it does. Usually 370 works and I see it changes my 493 here. So I'm going to go back to 600 wide. I'm going to grab this code, Control C, and I'm going to go over to my uh, blog posting on video production here that I want to have an autoplay video on. So let's say I decide I want to put it here where I say in, in 2001 I began working in Blue Ridge Healthcare uh, or wherever. I'm going to go here. I'm going to edit this page. Now, I've, I've already got this logged into my WordPress where I can just go there and hit edit page. Now, you got two different things up here. you got your text. This is WordPress, of course. And you got your visual. You can't put that stuff that I just copied there off of YouTube into the visual. you got to go to text. So I'm going to go here. We're in 2002. I began working at Blue Ridge Healthcare. I'm going to put a return in there. I'm right in the right in the middle there. I'm going to go ahead and paste that stuff I got from YouTube. I'll put another return in as well. Now, right now, it's not set to auto uh, to auto play. So what I've got, I've made myself a little note over here on my other screen, and this is the code that you would typically use. This question mark rel equals zero and amp auto play equals one. You got your colon in there, and I'll put this in the body of my description. I'm going to do a Control C for that and copy that, pull it out of the way. And where you put it, you see where the REL0 is? Here's the name of your YouTube video right here, see? And you can replace that REL0 there if you want to. I mean, you have to, actually didn't have to do it. Sometimes it puts it in, sometimes it does not. You leave, want to leave the quotation mark there. See the quotation? So it goes between, I'm sorry, you, you got to get the, I'm sorry, the question mark. Get the question mark. And all the way over to the zero. And don't go away for, or in other words, don't copy over the uh, quotation mark. Now I'm going to do a control V and now I just replaced all that and there's that piece of it, that uh, piece of code that will make the video autoplay. I'm going to say update and WordPress is going to update. And of course, for if you're building your site in Dreamweaver, you're doing it HTML, the old school cool way, which I usually do, then uh, you just upload your video, your, uh, your page at that point. Okay. So then we're going to hit view page and let's see what it looks like. Hey folks, Tony Lee Glenn here today, and I've had a viewer ask me a question. So here, automatically I've got an autoplay piece of video in there, clip of video in the hole. You see all this extra space up here above? That's what I was talking about. I wanted to change the size of this. Now I know it's 600 pixels wide, usually about 374 tall is what I really want. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit this page again. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to where that code was. You have to excuse me, I'm a little choked up today. Uh, I'm going to go back here to see here, here's where the iframe is. The iframe is where the, the video is embedded. And I'm just going to go back where it says 600. I'm going to leave that, but I'm going to go to like 374. I think that's about right. I'm going to say update again. And look, we're updated. Now I'll do a view page again. And here we go. Hey folks, Tony Lee Glenn here today. And I've had a view. Now I don't have the extra black around the outside. And I've got a pretty cool looking video that will autoplay when anybody comes to my video production page. So folks, that's as easy as it is. Once again, this piece of code right here, and I made myself these notes, I'll go ahead and put this all in the description of this video so you can go there and grab your own. Folks, have fun embedding videos and making them autoplay. But you never can tell. You might get some additional YouTube hits and you might encourage people to... Uh, you know, watch your videos by showing your genius in a video that they don't get a chance to not watch. They actually are uh, going to be forced to watch it. Kind of a cool thing. You know, let's face it, those, those are all considerations we need to make from time to time to get the views and to get the exposure we want. Cheers to all of you out in the world. Be cool. Uh, give me any questions if you got them or a better way to do this if you know a better way. Take it easy.